Coming up on Roundabout, two very special guests enter the program and only one leaves. What, and more importantly, who am I talking about? Well, stick around to find out. Roundabout is sponsored by Advance Auto Parts. Visit our website, roundaboutshow.com, to get up to $30 off your next purchase, and by everyone's favorite online retailer, Amazon.com. Ben, Ben, are you recording this? Oh, of course he is. Sorry. Oh, hi, from my secret snack bar, we're here somewhere in the coast. It's Bob Hall, the original Bob, and my good friend, Choco Flake. Mm. I'm your host, Craig Cole. Me be Jim Hall, Grand Vizier of 2953 Analytics, the only automotive analysis practice that has omniscient service 5,000. And I'm producer Bandar Sanders. Kuchinawa, round about this. Welcome to Roundabout, episode 139, our weekly chat covering car culture, vehicle reviews, and auto news you've undoubtedly missed. And we are back. We're glad you could join us for all the news you never needed to know, but you're gonna anyway. So as you can tell by the introductions, we do have two very special guests joining us. Duplicates. They share the same DNA, if I am not mistaken, because we have the Hall twins. We got Bob out, in, out on the coast somewhere. Mysterious Which coast? coast, the mystery coast. Mystery, mystery coast, mischievous yes. coast. And, uh, I, I'm going to correct Craig, Jim. I know you wouldn't because you're there with him and I can avoid being hit, but <laughs> our, our DNA is identical, but it's different to everyone else because we have a triple helix. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I should have said that, should I, Jim? Do you think no. those guys from the government will be after us again? Again, again. yeah. I'm probably going to have to drive home in a nondescript automobile now because. Are you in the Altima? No. <laughs> and we've got Jim Hall as well, the Hi. Grand Vizinero. I'm, what, talk us, walk us through the Omniscient Service 5000. Omniscient Service 5000 is something for clients where we will tell them exactly what is going to happen in their future. But uh, they, they have to pay for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, do you go and when you make a we prediction? We helped a guy out in Lapeer actually with this. Uh, they just wanted to know about some, some numbers or something. So we said, yeah, here they are. Go ahead. Mm, that's nice. Now, we do you revise your estimates when you make them like other anal analysis firms do often? You mean revise them afterwards? After something changes. We're changing our numbers. No, ret no it's a retroactive projection. <laughs> very, uh, uh, that's I an episode invented, title. Okay. It is. That, that's, I, I, there's exactly. there's, some, there's a title. Retroactive pro projection. Projection. Mm -hmm. That we're done. It's Goodbye. Thanks term. for playing. It was a great show. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, guys. Really, that okay, was great. Okay, see you next week. Yeah. And now, my friend Choco Snack and I are now headed out the door. Choco Flake. By the way, I want you to notice Ichigo flavor. Oh, okay, strawberry flavored chocolate. Figure that out. Okay. That sounds disgusting. I but don't Bob know. Bob, here's my spare parts. You know, and take care of yourself. Don't eat too many of those strawberry flavored Choco strawberry. <laughs> Before the show, he was crinkling the bags, and there's a fire. I smell smoke. Well, he is on the coast, and you know they are having fires. It's not. It's not. It's nothing to joke not about. A laughing matter. No, no, it's, no not, it's not for you either. That's especially. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, because the parts could be uh, rendered useless Roasted. by cooking. Roasted. <laughs> right. Roasted. The good news is, if he has a high sodium diet, he can be cured. I'm started on the curing process myself. That's right. Because Bob I'm did it. Exactly exactly they're like, you could call me Mr. Prosciutto if you want. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, we got some news to get through here. First. There is some news. Jim, you've got an article you want to talk about about the general, the tired, the veteran general, battling in the trenches. General Motors, you know, they are restructuring. And this is a lot of stuff that they shouldn't have let happen in the restructured GM. Like, there are all these little fiefdoms. And they're the guys at Opal, great engineers, but they do it their way, come hell or high water. They do it their and way. And only yes, their way. Their so they're basically are going to be going through General Motors like a dose of salt is what it looks like. And it's interesting because, uh, you know, when you restructure after you've had a... Uh, Question. Yes. Is a dose of salt similar to a bag of hair? No. No, okay. no. There's nothing as dumb as a bag of hair. <laughs> um, Danny Clover. He's dumber than a bag of hair. Perhaps. Uh, the, the interesting thing about this is that, that there's an argument that when you came out of bankruptcy, you should have had a structure that was ready to go. And it tells you that the old way at General Motors, the, the anti, the, the, basically the autoimmune system is still there and it's as powerful as ever. You can change the people at the top, but unless you change what goes on through the organization. <laughs> How did Malali change Ford? Because that had more, arguably more entrenched culture than bad culture. He didn't tolerate it the way that uh, management at GM has tolerated mm. it, plain and simply. And he would, he would ask the question, because he was completely from the outside, 
And he would ask the question that was a logical question because he came from a company that manufactures things mm -hmm. and things that have to be appealing to customers. You know, and the, the truth is, th there are people that tell me this all goes back to, you know, they should simply bring back Ron Zarella as the CEO. <laughs> is that true, Bob? Well, as usual, Jim, you know, has, just can't see the tree for the forest. Um, uh -oh. He's just got it completely stuffed up. GM actually needs to go back beyond, I mean, what they were. They're, I will accept the fact GM was screwed up, but the Sloan plan was brilliant. And, and by getting rid of divisions, they ruined it. They need more divisions, okay? They need to bring back Marquette. They need to bring back uh, you see, Oakland. Bob has no okay. idea what's going on. I, I'm sorry, Bob, but, you know, in Hang your, on, Jim, in your wait, bunker no, you there, you have no, no look, idea look, of reality. Look, look. And, I'm and, not supposed to tell you guys this. I've applied for a job as director of Saab Product Planning, okay? <laughs> you know what, Bob? I believe it. And let me tell you, that's and, a job that probably would even challenge your talents. They huh? have a product planner and product planner? Both. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but Bob, well, I'm sorry. You are so I'm, off base here, and you're wasting valuable uh, podcast time. You know, no, people I just be completely. You don't know what the hell you're talking Bob, about. Bob, so gentlemen, of, gentlemen, just simmer down. We, no, this, he's, he's wrong. This, the man is wrong. I disagree completely. Jim doesn't know which end of... Well, I am unanimous. Fill in the blank. That's true. And this is degraded. I, we thought we could trust you guys. Bob and Jim, we've separated you by 3,000 miles. Yeah. As the crow flies. And that's still you're still squabbling. This is going to be a hall versus hall. We were supposed to have a friendly chat, but it's, it's turned into a battleground again. Hall versus hall! Right. Okay. So, now, what are we going to do, hall versus hall? Talking about well, I can tell you what you should do. You should do something to show it. Jim has a stupid mind, you see? You see? Stupid mind. Stupid, stupid. Okay. okay. How about this? How about we do a design halal? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm up for it. Because you're like you, you, you think, Jim, both good? designers. Both of you. I'm reaching toward, toward you, Bob. Yes, he's I was reaching. gesticulating towards He Jim. pushed me back. With my force of hurricane breath <laughs> or whatever. force of will. Lung, lung foo. Lung foo. Very good. Design hall. Bob, we'll Hi. start with you. You want to talk about the fecalia? Not quite. Craig, we I'm didn't even play about... the, the famous design hall theme. Oh, well, gosh, the I want to hear the design hall theme because we better. <laughs> I just love it. We Isn't recorded this at the DSO a few weeks back. Yes. Bob, you're getting so good at playing the whatever this is. That's a, it's, it's an air viola. It's a, it's a woodwind. Yeah. You know, they make a big deal about air guitar, but air viola has never, ever gotten the, <laughs> the respect. It deserves. That's the word, that it deserves. Okay, after but, that useless diversion. <laughs> yes. What is your design this, hall? My design hall is a Facel Vega, a, a version of Facel Vega, which was called the Facelia. Now, just a background, because probably uh, the only people that know Remember, Fasel Vega are Jimmy and I on the show, maybe a handful of other people who are nearing a retirement age. <laughs> Fasel Vega was a French car company that had built bodies and done work for the French larger companies, Simca and uh, Ford of France for a while. And they made their own car. And the first ones used uh, Chrysler V8s. And they even were putting Hemis in these things. They were kind of like really nice grand touring cars. It was sort of like and, a dual Ghia, but built in France. And, and styled, good looking. Yeah, styled very distinctively. The Fakel yeah. Vega. Facel Vega. Facel. Mm -hmm. Like Mercedes. Mercedes Benz. Like Mer Benz. Yeah, it's similar to that, only different. Yeah, they do it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sat. Sat. <laughs> Stop. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> but but they, they came up with this car called the Faselia, and it was going to be their big time car because it was going to be high volume, affordable Facel Vega. It was still expensive. It was a really, really pretty car. You look at it today, it's, it's attractive. It was nicely proportioned. That's the fixed head coupe that I liked the most. It was a two-seater only. They did a two-plus-two coupe later on, and they did a little roadster that was quite good-looking. And the roadster had an interesting thing. It was a three-seater with a, a seat in the rear that you sat diagonally, or not diagonally, but Side across way. the car. How Side comfortable. Saddle. You could sprawl. It, you it, could it, air it, out your... Mm, you I sat in one, and it was surprisingly good. The problem is they decided to make their own engine and they had an engine that was originally Westlake did the basic work and then it was finished by the guy who designed that's the Facel Vega engine the guy who designed the last of the Tabo Lago big French luxury car mm -hmm. engine and they didn't have a place to make it so they had it made by a company called Ponte Moussin who made their transmissions now not many transmission makers make engines and one of the reasons What's was the difference? Well, they don't know what the hell they're doing. And the, the Vassell Vega engine was probably the world's most notorious mobile piston burner and oil leak generator. It was hopelessly unreliable, and it just was a blight on the entire car. 
So Cell was very successful building these big V8 cars. They had a thing called the Excellence, which Jim is a fan of, that was a big four-door. I like it, too. It was completely pillarless. The doors latched into the floor. Suicide door in the back. Neat piece of work. It was the most expensive car production car in America at the time in the late 50s, wasn't it, Jimmy? Yeah, I believe it was, it was more expensive than a Rolls, definitely. Yeah. The so, thing is that Facel, by buying engines, bought a mechanical system that worked, plain and simply. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's bring then, this full circle. Let's talk design. What were some of the unique traits of the Fi Facel Vega Facilia? Facilia. Well, yes. Where the Facilia, Facilia worked well is, is that it was a car design in the late 50s that by avoiding stuff like wraparound windshields and fins, it, it had a certain timelessness to it. And the Facilia being smaller seemed to carry the proportion really well. They had some interesting things like the, for cost reasons, their rear valence panel was a flat panel and they brought the fenders out into these peaks that they put little turn indicators in and taillights. It looked, it looked really elegant. Little turnlets. It, turnlets, they were turnlets, yes. <laughs> no, no D in there. And <laughs> it was just, it was one of those, it's, it's, you look at it today, it's held up real well. If you show it to somebody and say, when was this designed? They probably would not say designed in the late 50s. Yeah, it's a very pretty it's, little, looks like a very small car, a little scamp. It was, it was small, I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was uh, slightly bigger than like an MGB. Okay. But, cool. but it, was a, it was a neat size for a car, and it should have, should have done well, but it died because of the engine. I, I, Appallingly I think bad. very cool, and I like the 90-degree the back seat for maximum sprawlage. It was a pretty neat idea. <laughs> I think it would be neat. I mean, if we ever do a segment or something on reviving a brand, I think reviving for Salvega would be kind of interesting. Along with the GM, obviously, the companion brands as well. Oh, stop. Jim... <laughs> You had a vehicle of choice as well you wanted to talk about, something a little bit fresher. Yep. Uh, perhaps a little bit higher performance. Yes, and um, uh, highly controversial too. Is it? Go on. Uh, Lexus LFA is a vehicle that, it's, it's the second performance product from Lexus. And you have to understand that Lexus got their feet in performance with the ISF. Mm -hmm. Now the ISF is a vehicle where they, you know, it's their M take on an M3 or an Audi S4, pick your car, or a Mercedes uh, AMG C-Class. And what they did was they, they they basically squeezed a 5-liter V8 under the hood, and it took a lot of specific work. So the car has specific front fenders, new hood, all new front sheet metal. Uh, the actual suspension's different in the front. And it was the car that they were going to sort of launch the F sub-brand with, their performance sub-brand. And it's interesting because there were interesting cues and little things on the ISF that didn't transfer over to the LFA that should have. And I'm talking about things just to make you think that their cars are the F uh, sub-brand, mm -hmm. sub-family. For example, the, the ISF, and people detest this, but I think it, it, it has character, have these quad diagonal elliptical exhaust pipes in the back. Mm -hmm. and very distinctive. They're very distinctive. It's character. It's one of those things you see it. It isn't anything else. And it, it, when I saw the, I, the LFA, it's like, of course they're going to do those in the LFA. No, instead the LFA has three, life, or three exhaust pipes in a triangle Clustered in the center together. of the car. Yeah. And I almost, the, the question with the, with the LFA is, why didn't they try to put a few more things on just to tie those cars together? Does it have the little F badge? It ha they, uh, that's it. In fact, that's actually it is the F badge. Yeah. Uh, and that's hmm. about it. Well, and the F badge on the, on the ISF is actually embroidered down in the lower section of the seat cushion. So when you open the door, you see the F badges front and back. They don't do that on the, on the LFA. That'd be it. That'd be a no-cost addition. Well, exactly. And, and you know, it, it's you just one of those things. It it, it's it's almost fiber. like the LFA was done in a complete vacuum from hmm. a design standpoint. A vacuum. A vacuum, yes. The only it, word in the English language with two U's in it, back to back. It, it's, it's, like, it's like old Toyota, okay, when Lexuses would be a Wyndham in Japan and a Lexus in the States, and they were designed as Wyndhams and adapted in Lexus, or worse, the first IS which was the Alteza, that didn't have any Lexus cues on the inside. For example, the Optotronic instrument cluster that was a Lexus trademark. Okay. What does Optotronic mean? Uh, it, back, you can back, see it? it was, no, it was a backlit three-dimensional thing that uh -huh. used reflection and... Uh, is, that, is that like the Lincoln electroluminescence they had in the not late 90s? No, it's, it, it, the no. thing, it, it's a very elaborate piece, and, and the, on the, the instrument cluster, when they launched it on the LS400, was eye-wateringly expensive. Yeah. And heaven help you if you have an original uh, LS and you need a new gauge cluster. Now, where do you find one and how much does it cost? It's, um, it's pretty oh. disgusting. Hmm. But the LFA is one of those cars. I, I like the car. It's controversial. It's distinctive. Uh, but I wish they would have done something so they could s use that car to set uh, yeah. Lexus F Sport it's, DNA. It's, it's distinctive in person. I've, I got to go for a ride in one at a Toyota event they had, which when you, it's always amazing 
when you get in a car with a racing driver, what they can do that mortals, mere mortals cannot. Well, the that LFA is so is good, it can make any driver drive that way. Yeah, right. It is. Have you driven it? Yeah. It's astonishing. It's an amazing car. And the car. noise the thing makes is ungodly. It's like a thousand howling banshees over your ear, back, shoulder. It's crazy. Or one very loud banshee. Or ten. How about we just say ten? Might be out. Okay. Split the difference. Agree to disagree. Yeah, but carbon fiber everywhere? Mm-hmm. Mostly concealed. Not as pretty as an R8. But it is no, a no, nice car. no, absolutely not. It's not um, a beautiful, lustworthy car. No, see, to me, it's lustworthy if you get what the car's all about, and the styling sort of complements it. But it's this, it's, it's like the way they do the, the the radiators are in the back of the car. It's a front engine car with the radiators in the rear, and they have this very elaborate way of getting air into it behind the doors, mm -hmm. and the forms they've used are decidedly challenging. Personally, I think it's pretty good. I like the way it works, but I can see why people see it and they just don't get it. Mm -hmm. You've got to see it in person, though. You do. You have to see it in person. Because it's low. And you have it's to low. hear it. The amazing thing is when you open the hood is how short the, the V10 engine is. It's an incredibly compact V10 Tiny engine. Tiny little pistons. It's like, it's like it's, 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 looks like it was done by a jeweler. <laughs> oh, that's a very clever way of putting it. Well, Jim, that'll conclude Design Halal, but there is a whole lot more. Hall versus Hall coming up. We're going to do the price is Daijobu. It's a second uh, yes. Bob created. Yes, it is a very, very good event. Much better than a traditional, uh, really sucks uh, game from the roundabout show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're also going to do Hall categories and, of course, a car by any other name. So stay tuned for all that. But right now, we've got to talk about a little website. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's called Amazon.com. Jim, I it's know. It's the longest website in the world. Oh, no, that's the river. Hang on. The most <laughs> in swollen website in the world. When the monsoons hit. Boy, they have a lot of stuff, and they have it's great It's product engorged. If you are smart enough to go to the roundabout website <laughs> and Bob, click on the link. Bob's sense of humor is decidedly more blue than yours. And I know that's hilarious. But There's like this clear, Jim is very proper. Bob will throw out... Engorged. <laughs> Product engorged. And, and, and the thing is, everything's desirable. Even our pick of the week, which I'll get to in just a second. What we're I'm asking excited. you to do, what we're asking you to do, go to roundaboutshow.com, which you should have already booked in your I'm browser. I'm typing it into my browser now. It Please have been stand bookmarked, by. Bookmarked, Ben. Go to roundaboutshow.com. You will see at the top of the page a banner ad for Amazon. Click on that. It takes you right to the Amazon storefront where you can do your shopping as you normally would. And you will pay no more. You will pay not one red cent So you more. get those tremendous Amazon deals. You get tremendous Amazon deals. Jim, I could not have said it better myself. You get the great deals from Amazon, and you're helping out your favorite podcast because we get a little bit of credit for the purchases that you make. Credit Help us out. good. Craig, ice makers again. Oh. I, ice cream makers, that What about is. an ice crusher? My, my, my molars are falling out from too much chewing. Cell phones, Mad Men, they have everything. So everything, and our pick of the week is Aircraft Paint Stripper from Clean Strip. Because this is a quality product, let me tell I've you. I've got a lock on now. I've got a, I've got a, a, a B-51 outside I need to strip for a customer. Oh, no, you don't have to be in the aerospace industry, Bob. That's the best part of this. If you're working on restoring a car, for instance. This is aircraft quality, and it will work sorry. fabulously getting the paint off your car, gets the primer, and then you're ready to put it on new and make it shiny. Ooh, that's what's coming up next it, in my project. It, that's why I selected this little ditty. And does I'll tell you not what. require a pilot's license. <laughs> Unless no, you're going to drink it. Craig, I'm very worried. Do you see what only, is there in green? Only three left. From the Athens special. Well, they got to send it from Greece. We know how the currency is going over there. The euro collapsed. Buy now. Trouble. Buy they now. The price in dollars, not drachmas. That's a shame. How do I know to do the conversion? Anyway, aircraft paint stripper. I've used this product on parts of my car. It works. You brush it on, and literally the paint just... And it falls away. And if you get it on your skin, it hurts like hell. <laughs> You're That's how you know to, it's working. Be, you're supposed to be doing this in an environmental suit. I was wearing shorts. So <laughs> is that an environmental <laughs> suit? An environmental suit, yes. Suit. A, a three-piece environmental, environmental suit. suit. Shorts, T-shirt, and underwear. And, and, and this was after you had the sandpaper wrestling match with your uh, cousin, wasn't it? <laughs> with what? A sandpaper wrestling match with your cousin at that family get-together. Oh, yeah, something like that. So Amazon... <laughs> Steamroll ahead, Amazon. We thank them for their support of Roundabout Show, and we do hope you'll take advantage of their great deals. So, Bob. By the way, here at the Secret Snack Bunker, we use, we use them exclusively for purchasing some of our snacks. Oh, such as? Yes. 
exclusively Barcel for some of our snacks. Chipotle's. Okay, these are available. Then just just check out Barcel Chipotle's and cheese. You can find them at Amazon.com, but check through the Roundabout website. Yes, please. do it. Do it now. We do it now. We do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bob, you've got a specially imported. You've got a green card or a passport. You've imported a segment for us tonight called The Price is Okay. Not exactly. No? This is a new segment for Roundabout Show, which we call The Price is a Daijoubu. <laughs> wow. Shin Hatsubai. Music, please. Please dance, Bob. Is this yes. a Benihana? Bob is dancing in his chair. It's a Hawaii chair. Look at that. <laughs> What are they singing and what, how? When is that, YouTube that, that going to tag this only, as third party content? That's the only Japanese language uh, song to ever make it onto the uh, top hit charts in the United States. It was called Sukiyaki, not the real title, that was the translated one. Because, like most Japanese titles, the title is about 63 words long. Uh, by a, a bloke named Q Sakamoto, who was. Uh, Intensely popular in Japan and ended up as a game show host, hmm. but unfortunately he was killed in a plane crash. And his game was, show was, was John Denver. His game show was uh, pre pre preserving family heritage by having fun happy time or something like that, right? <laughs> happy jelly roaster time. <laughs> All right, Bob. So this is the this is a take on the Price is Correct, a game fathered by our own Jefferson Ross, who we had on a week ago. Yes, um, I thought of it because of that. Yes. So you, he's fathered both this and a new baby. But anyway, you've got a special Japanese-themed episode. The, the goal of the game, you're going to throw out a car, describe it a little bit. Jim and I have to guess the price of that vehicle without Thanks. going over. Winner takes oh, all. We, we don't go over. Can't go over. Can't First go past over. the post, winner takes go all. Over. 50% plus one. Okay. And Bob so, will keep, he'll keep track of the You're going to keep score the there, Bob. Bobo Haru. Yes. I will use my solid-state scorekeeping equipment here. <laughs> Very you good. Can see. Bob. I can drop it. Bob, did you There's... bring your did you bring your ink pen? Bring your ink pen. I have pen. my house there a pen that doesn't have memorial ink, ink pen. He right has here. an ink pen, see? Bob has he brought a gravel pen that I used to use. <laughs> <laughs> a cobble pen. With carpet cobble scraps and pen. I found it inside a chicken. <laughs> anyway, we can't go down that road. <laughs> no, we won't. Gizzard pen. Gizzard. We will definitely not be trundling down that, that road, will we? <laughs> <laughs> All fall down. Girthberg on the sea. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yes. Round number one. Why don't you start us off, Bob? Yeah, Bob, what's first? Well, uh, I've got to open up a little document here. May I peek yeah. now? No. Don't peek Don't yet. peek. Please view your feed. On the screen in front of us. Feed. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen, the television screen. Feed us. Feed Ooh, us. It's a Saab 9.5, a future collector's yes. car. It and it is a... The total it, car life agent. Wow. By Sank. Sank. Is that like Sync, but with an A? It's just like Sync, only different. Saab yeah. Sank. Okay. Exactly the same as Sync, only different. The, this is, of course, uh, this is not just a 9.5. This is a zero kilometer, brand new 9.5, okay? They don't get much newer, and it was, of course, it's not, not a crummy new one. It was on the long trip to Japan, so it had a chance to age like a dry-aged steak, okay? It's, it's better. <laughs> Did they cut the it's, rotten parts off when they arrived? <laughs> yeah, when it arrived, they, they cut the, the, the distasteful parts off. Guys? This is the Kobe Beef Wagyu of Saab 95s. Okay. What model is it, Bob? Um, Aero Arc uh, Vector? No, it's not an Aero because it's got really dinky wheels on it that we didn't get in the I States. Think, I think it's a lateral. I think oh. it's a lateral. Linear. Linear. It's a linear. Yes, it is a linear. Jeez. Sorry, lateral. Bob, come on. That was close. I, look, I've got to translate this from Japan, okay? And en engine, please. Engine is a 2 Rita Tabo Charged Yonkito Mota. AT type? This is AT, of course. It has an AT and the auto uh, auto aircon, auto aircon, oh, and auto uh, it has a car navi. Honkawa? Of course, Honkawa. Yes, uh, only <laughs> Honkawa and car yes, navi. Yeah. Do you know car navi, Craig? <laughs> yes. Oops. I know what, what I'm going to guess for the price, though. Jim, would you oh. like to start? Are we guessing in yen? You want or this in dollars, in... No, please. I want this, I want this guy's <laughs> US dollars. Okay. Right? Good. So there's there's no escaping the fact that you will provide it along with if and if you don't, I will give an order to Miss Lemoyne, okay. and Jim knows what that order is. Oh no, that order. Was, yes. No, 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 no. You don't want to hear that order. Um, who's going? You want me to go first? If I'm, you want to go first, you can. Okay. Otherwise, I'll go. First. Let me select. Let me select. Yes. On the first one, we'll go alphabetically. We'll let Craig go first because C comes before B. Uh, J. I'm going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> 66,000 United States dollars. Thank you. Have a nice day. 
66,000. Let me write that figure down. Figure. 66,000 uh, American dollar. Oh, okay. Now, that yes, yes. is the price that has been promoted by uh, Mr. Crane. Now, oh. uh, to my uh, somewhat retarded and uh, stupid brother, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your guess? Uh, Who is your guess? 24,500. $24,500. Okay, <laughs> I can name now the winner. Oh, we can see the answer by clicking on the answer. Can we not? We can. Click, click on the answer now. <laughs> Hurry, do it now, at once. I'm clicking. I don't know what Fishing. this says. Ooh, 4,460,000 yuan. Uh, ben did not translate to American dollar. Okay, I will do for you. I do for you. The price of that car, without going over, is fifty-six thousand and seven hundred and seventy American dollar. Jimu. The winner is wow. huh, my brother Jim. <laughs> You're <laughs> retarded, brother Jim. Bob, I've got no, to tell you. I, 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 <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm stunned that it has any kind of price premium because who would buy that car collecting it? Because you're gonna have to hold it for forty years. Seriously. <clears throat> is it right-hand drive? Yeah, 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 probably. You have to bear in mind something important yes. here. Okay, in, in Japan, they only drive the cars, they only get about 3,000 miles on a year. So 40,000 miles, for 40 years now, it'll still be low mileage. Okay. Yeah, but you're not going to have to replace other... it every two years. Yeah, Andrew. because let's of the just, media uh, Let's just imagine for a minute, guys, okay, the car is going to be like a 1956 Chevy in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Because there'll be nothing to fix it with. Yeah. <laughs> they'll make they'll their own brake fluid out of okay? mineral oils. <laughs> they'll put a Daihatsu engine in it. We'll have Mitsubishi. Oh, no, they'll be gone, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right, round two. What's what round, round two, please? Vehicle? Round two. We have uh, a car with also front wheels drive. Oh, wow. It, it, is, it is Amesha, American car. Toro. This Toronado. is because it is the first front wheel drive in America after the experiment with the uh, uh, Copa Spiriti Sphere. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to yeah. There was some car before that, but it's not so important now. But this is also from another classic maker, like Saab, that yes. became classic by fairing. Strictly limited production by popular demand, I understand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> For those who don't speak English, what is it? It is Oldsmobile Tornado. There we go. What year, Bob? <laughs> and uh, just, just a couple of details, because uh, Jim might not mention this car is available from Garage 37 in Hiroshima. Now, Garage 37 is an approved Daihatsu dealer. So you can see they have a lot of affinity mm. by selling this Oldsmobile. All right. Okay. Well, Jim, you have honors. Bob, uh, oh. one question. Is it uh, right. Buihachi? It is a Buihachi, yes. V8. It is an AT. Oh, well, AT and yes, I believe thank, uh, also it has a bed, velvet interior. Velvet? Velvet. Oh, boy. You know, velvet. Yes, I know. Like a national burbet. Yeah, and I and, and <laughs> bel velvet, velvet, velvet uh, potato or uh, peanut butter. Uh, my guess is uh, sixteen thousand and change. Sixteen thousand five hundred. Sixteen thousand and five hundred American dollar. That's okay. where Jim is wrong, because this is an American classic, and like blue jeans and used tennis shoes are gonna pay a premium. Premium. Used tennis shoes. Seventeen thousand five hundred and forty-nine dollars. Final price. What did I win? We both went over. Oh, the winner is Mr. Craig. Because the price of this car is uh, 20110 American dollar. Wow. <sighs> Gasp. Because <laughs> I am stunned. it is a luxury car. But yeah, it's a luxury it to drive a car like that around in, in Hiroshima, too. When you it can afford also the needs gas. some space, okay? Now, talking about the physical space. Yes. And the other luxury you must have, of course, Isn't is Hiroshima the luxury wide open, of though? a parking space as big as your house, okay? Yeah, but it's finding the physical parking spaces and structures. They're not made for cars that big. There are structures? Oh, yes, there's structures. Yes, Garage 37. All right. Ah, yes. Well, it's, it's just, it's beyond beautiful. All right, Bob. Next we, car, We're tied please. up here. Jim won, Craig won. Round three. Now, the next car is very unusual and exotic uh, Japanese car. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, Isuzu's Asuka. Asuka. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. This Isuzu's Asuka is uh, most uh, famous for a very unusual reason. <laughs> it's a Honda Accord. Oh, my God. Uh, it is not made at the Isuzu's factory. 
He just made a Honda's factory. Yes, Jimmy's right. He knows his car. So I suspect he... I thought he was your car. retarded brother. I should brother. warn you. I should warn you. Of all the five cars, this one has already been sold. Oh. I checked it just today. No and longer I available. Think Jim has bought it. Uh, okay, I'm oh, going to guess first. He must know the price I will of guess this first. rare and exotic car. But it is a Jim's ton. No, uh, what a year? Craig ton. Craig ton. What year? Craig. It doesn't uh, matter. It does. Mm -mm. Hold on. I have Can't you tell by the body style? That's not what I want to know. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, Calculating. Calculating. Uh, no. 1997. Good answer. <laughs> hey, uh, do you know? Uh, do you know? Uh, um, uh, is he, uh, is he I'm is confused. Uh, he looks very uncomfortable. I, I don't have the bloody link for the thing. Oh. I, I think it's you, been deleted. <laughs> it's been deleted because it was thing. sold. So do we know the price? We yeah, do, we know the price. We know oh, the price. All right. So, you should know. You bought it. <laughs> Nobody else. I wouldn't. I, I can't. Uh, I can't expect you paying go. much more than four thousand five hundred dollars for this car. Four thousand and uh, five hundred American dollar. Okay. What do you think, Joe? A uh, gym? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have chocolates and 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 hosiery. Uh, and you get chocolate. <laughs> Six thousand three hundred. Mm. Six thousand and three hundred dollar. Okay. I have to say to both of you, we went over. Massive fail. <laughs> How much, Bob? This car's price, two thousand five hundred thirty American dollar. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> it's here. It was a diversionary tactic by Jim. He was talking it up all the specialty features it had, and I didn't talk about any of the specialty roar. features. Bull roar. <laughs> You know, I didn't. I Next didn't, round, I'm I didn't tell you I'm not that I didn't way tell anymore. you I had an iTech instead of VTech for Isuzu, but it was actually IH Tech, which is Isuzu's Honda technology. Oh, yeah. they just stole but, it. But, but it right. has only 61,000 miles. 100,000 kilometers. And it is a 2,000 year. Ah. 2,000 year. year car. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Round what's four. The, what's the next car, Bob? Round oh, four. Oh, I have to go back to my secret list. Everything today is a secret. <laughs> yes, it Please is. Don't forget and let all of the people watching know everything today is secret. Secret. The next car is a fine American car. Ooh. Very unusual. Hiroina. Chichaina Kuruma desu. Hiroina. Chichaina Kuruma. Well, I could say in English, it is a wide, small car. Yes. <laughs> it is an AMC's Pacer, Pacer car. Pacer car, yes. Oh, and it's the original Pacer with the parallel yes. flow uh, radiator. This is not only original, it is a fast year, 1975 year. Is it right handle, Bob, or is it still left handle? No, 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 this is a left handle. It is original, original car. Very you know, the original. French, you know, the French loved these cars. Well, of course they did, you know, it's uh, because it is really stupid looking like a French car. Huh? I shouldn't say that. It is a kind of cool in a stupid way, you know? <laughs> um, okay, I'll give you some information first. Please. You need to have the information. This car has a 129,000 kilometer, okay? And it is a, uh, it is a left handle. Left handle. Okay? Left handle. Yeah. Left handle. Oh. Left handle. What, what is it? Is it? It's not an X. Is it a DL or just? Uh, I see it as the stylish uh, handle carrier, so Godzilla can pick it up on the roof. It is a Pesa oh, DL. Say what, it Bob? Is a, it is Pesa's DL. So Pesertel. Okay, got it. Pesertel. Pesertel. Yeah. However you can pronounce that, I don't know so good English. <laughs> five thousand five hundred dollar. Okay, I must write this time. Five thousand. Five hundred. Hundred. Five hundred. Uh, American dollar. Yes. Okay, I have noted it and written down. So now, Mr. Clegg, please. That is where Jim is wrong. He's again underappreciating, undervaluing American history, American culture in the uh, Japanese archipelago. I think you are right. Uh, maybe you are right. It is in the Japanese archipelago. Yeah. <laughs> I say 7,200. 7,200 dollar. Uh, uh, Mr. Ben. Are you there? Yes. Oh, could you play some kind of winning sound or noise? How about this? Does this work? Oh, that's winner. great. Yes, and the winner is Craig, because the Pacers car price is thirty-one thousand and eight hundred. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I was. Ex 
What the what? Whoa, earthquake! One thousand and eight hundred American dollars. This is Mother. unbelievable. I, mean, I have to tell you, this car is from the specialist of Amesha. It is from the garage called Orange County. What? <laughs> garage Orange County. Oh well, I want to go to Garage Orange no, County. I I want no, you. No, Jim, I you want, want you all, me. each and every one of you, my friends, my friend. on the internet. I want you all to go to Garage Orange County. Please enter into your web browser, www.orange-county. Very good, Bob. We Number have one four, more round, though. You, dot com. We have you one another round. Flash opening. It is hilarious. Bob, okay? we need a new. We, we need have another next round. round. I understand? Yes. Yes, one last round. But that website is uh, beyond <laughs> belief. Okay. <laughs> and it has lots of English. Easy to navigate, except for me. Okay, last one. We will pick as a supercar. Oh. You know the Japanese love supercar, big, powerful, sports car, usually with a mid-engine and uh, 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 very bad mechanical, often breaking down, uh, and European heritage. A failure. This car has only some of that. It does not have the European heritage, because <laughs> it is a Nihonsha, Japanese supercar. The perhaps ultimate of all Japanese supercars. The car that Lexus uh, I, uh, LFA make aspirement to. <laughs> Greg, show the car now. It is. Uh, I, uh, oh my God. Oh, I've, it, I've, I've uh, lost my dinner. <laughs> oh, this is from the Boo Boo approved car system, thank God. Oh, that, that is from Boo Boo Showroom Yokohama. Mitsuoka. Yes. 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 I resign this round. This car In is disgust. incredibly. Sexyful. <laughs> <laughs> I get to from the movie, you only live twice. <laughs> Do you actually, are you sacrificing the round? You just said that. I don't believe you would quit. I won't I am, quit then. Whose turn to go? You're first. Oh, this car is costing, in my estimation. I want the cost, not the value. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big difference, I think. I guess. Two and fifty thousand. Two, two, two hundred and fifty thousand. Two American and dollar? fifty. Two dollar and fifty cent. Two. <laughs> say, it, say it in English so I 50, know. Fifty thousand. Fifty-two thousand. Two and fifty thousand. <laughs> fifty-two thousand. Oh, okay. Why don't you say so? Okay. <laughs> How many, Jim? Jim. You should do the, this program with someone else. He is a retardment, I think. <laughs> did you say retardment? Yes, he did. Uh, Bob, real quick question. How old is it? And, my, and how many miles on it? Like seven kilometers? So it's 15 I, years it's old? It's too ugly to drive. <laughs> what a terrible thing to say. If you it drove it, someone would see you in it. <laughs> yes, if you drove. Hang on a minute. I will get the... Uh, I will get the, the, the price for you and the... Uh, no, the price. I won't get the price. Price is... No, I don't, don't give me the price. The secret location of the car at the Boo Boo Yokohama. <laughs> Come on, Boo Boo. I'm using my browser and it is being very Craig like, very retarded today. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm such a fine car. It has a, it has a 8,000 kilometer. Hmm. And uh, it is uh, uh, two or three year old, I think. So it has been driven very much. Well, as much as possible. <laughs> okay. So it's 8,000 kilometer, and uh, it is only, uh, I think, four owner. <laughs> 62,000 uh, US dollars. 62,000 American dollars. Okay. The actual retail price, without going over, is uh, a lucky price. 88,830 dollars. $88,000? And it will remain unsold, I think, at Boo Boo for a very long time. You know, Boo Boo, the Boo Boo facility in Yokohama may be swept by a mysterious fire. Of crinkling chip bags? No. That's the kind of stock take. Oh, my God. Well, that means we've got five rounds. Jim took two. I took two. We had a split. We got to go to the next. We got to go on. Is there another one? Can you? I've got one to put up, Mr. Cooper, uh, Mr. Ben. All right, lightning round. Wait, I don't have another one to put up. Okay. 
We will we, decide it in the Haldegories. It gets decided in the next game, I think. I think oh. so, too, which, which will not feature the both of us playing again, but will feature myself and Bob. <laughs> so... Well, I can get a perfect points. plan, I think. <laughs> ben, oh, can you, ben, can you? <laughs> I must make it. Hey, That's what he looks again. like when he's watching teenage girls through ben, the bathroom window. Ben, could you give me style points for the nature of my haltigori? Style points. Style sure. points. Sure. We'll, okay. We'll give you style points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That way, I can lose with grace and dignity. You live That'd with be a grace first. and dignity. You no, can't. No, 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 me. Hmm. <laughs> All right, haltigoris, shall we, gentlemen? I'm ready when you are. Is there any sort of music we start this off with for Jimmy? No, no, no wait, music. Is there music? No, it's so new. There wasn't no time to write music for this, Bob. <laughs> ah. Pilfer it from, I call it the free store, YouTube. Yes. <laughs> anyway, and now for a game of categories, or in this case, haltigories. Jim has selected all um, of the categories for this edition. <clears throat> what? Jim has selected all of the categories for this edition. And here's how it works. Each of us will take a turn and draw a virtual card at random, but we won't reveal the contents of said card. Instead, we will start naming items that describe or fit into that hall to gory. For instance, if I were to uh, draw a card that said cars James once owned, I would name, for instance, the Audi S4, BMW Z1, and Chevrolet Cosworth Vega. Yeah. And Bob would try to guess what my card said. Each round lasts one minute. You got it? Good. Uh, Let's yeah, get started. Uh -huh. Let's get started with the first round. All um, right. The order of which we will choose at random. Bob will am, go first. I am selecting the category now. Bob using will go an electronic first because device. B comes before C. There you go. Perfect. What is your okay. category, Bob? And again, no <laughs> don't, don't tell us peaking. that. But my category. No, not the category. No, no. Let the me clues. finish. <laughs> I've got to put some drama in this, huh? He's yeah. A crew. So, what will make him guess that fabulous category that I, I've selected? This category covers a range. Of vehicles. Well, hold yes. on, Bob. Are you ready for me to put your minute up? I'm ready. A minute. Okay. Your your minute is going on the clock. Here we go. And begin. It's whoa. Who? It's a range of cars from one of the big three. Okay. Bob, you're just one supposed of the to list the what it is. You're not supposed to. That's too much of a clue. The well, Chevy Cav, the J body. Just start naming cars off if that's it. Oh, okay then. All righty. That's easy. Mustang. Pony cars? Zephyr. Fairmont. Fords. No. Nope. Keep going, Bobby. Fox um, body. 30 seconds remain. Very good. You got it. It was, it was Fox platform, but does, uh, does that count, Ben? Fox body? Yeah, we'll, we'll introduce that now. Ben, we'll allow it. Does the point go to the guy who, the, the quizzer? It goes to... Bob. It should be the okay. person who, no, oh no, it should go to, it should go to, to Craig for his, his intelligence and wisdom. <laughs> but now it's your chance to be intelligent. <laughs> Craig is a retired man. How about, how about this? How about if I get both him. points? You go with the good points. There you go. <laughs> Craig, round Everyone two. Everyone wins. All right. When I, when I, when I explain it, I get the point. When Craig explains it, I get the point. How does that work? That no, Bob, that won't work. It's, it's a great <laughs> idea, though. And if I was as retarded as you say I am, I think it was a great idea. And I only no. think it's an okay idea. It's retardment. Retardment, yeah, sorry. Retardment. All right. Yeah. You guys ready? I've picked my car Haldegory. You have his Haldegory. Put, the, so put now, the timer up, Ben. Come on, let's go. Are you ready, Bob, to answer the question? Yes, are the timer's so up. You are as okay. retarded as this is my round, go. Jim. <laughs> <clears throat> the South, the South Carolina. Abilama, um, Mississippi, Tennessee. German, German automaker plants. Mm, close. Uh, transplant, non-UAW non transplant facilities. Mm, can we give it to him, Ben, or no? Korean, Korean. More specific, transplant. please. South Carolina, Mississippi, BMW, Alabama. BMW, BMW, Mercedes, Kia. Okay. And Tennessee. Maybe you want to contrast Nissan. it, Craig. Opposed to Michigan or New York. No snow. <laughs> <laughs> they're Look, they're naming a group of dummies. things. What do these things have in common? Transplant factories. Ben, what You're do we give him? Yes mind. or no? You hear? You hear? Stupid, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you're the ultimate you're the judge of this, so. Bob, we can't let it go because the, the, it's, it's plants where domestics do not manufacture cars. I mean, states. states, states where, where where, even states. he got it wrong. Same retardment. <laughs> okay, states. 
<laughs> where, where manufacturers, domestics don't have plants. But other people do. <laughs> no points. Although, I don't know, do they build anything in South Carolina, Tennessee? Yeah. Probably not. Not BMWs? Domestic. Domestic. No, domestics don't. No. That's my yeah. point. These are, these are okay. states where the, the domestics have no representation. Yeah, I wasn't but certain, they build. but I just went with it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Bob. Fire away. Have right, you selected a new super category? New. Ready right for your selected. timer? I have, I have selected. Okay. One minute on the clock. I want more of that graphic. Okay. Toyo Glide. Ford Warner Model 15. Types of transmissions. Ford Automatic. Automatic transmissions. Power Glide. Types of automatic transmissions. <laughs> Three. Ford Warner Model 15. Two speed automatic transmissions. Very A good. Winner, he, you. That man over there. Power, power flight, Bob. Oh, that's like right. I forgot about power torque flight. Torque flight. Uh, Ford FM2. Ford Automatic was th two? I guess Ford was. FM2 was. I thought he said Ford Automatic, though. That was three. Wasn't but it? It, they used the name no. on multiple transmissions. Ah. Cruise Automatic. Cruise Automatic was. And was select shift Cruise Automatic. What about the Merc Automatic? Uh, uh. Ford Automatic was two speed. Who would want a two speed automatic? This is horrible. I'm going to drive a Model Bob, T. Bob, Bob, the greatest one of all. Torque Take a drive. power glide and kick the brains out of it. Torque drive. Torque drive. <laughs> Available only on, inexplicably, Chevy 2 and Camaro. <laughs> uh, Chevrolet Vagrant. Vagrant. Vagrant never had torque drive, did it? Bob, Is it like the cash money Holmo? bet you'll lose. You'll give me more money. And I'll want to harvest in perhaps corneas. Excuse here. me, Jim. What do you want, money? Haven't got a lot of money. Corneas. I'll take your corneas. <laughs> Both of them? That's harsh. A man needs his corneas, Jim. Yeah, I suppose I'd leave you yeah, with one. Yeah, but Round Jim four. doesn't notice, before I, I give them to him, they're going to be pop corneas. Round four. <laughs> All Round right. four. I'm selecting my Haltigori, which we've already done, and I reselect. <laughs> I don't Love. like that look. <laughs> that I, I, I want to see now. Okay. That was I've a look of horror. I've got one. <laughs> Sort of. Ford Taurus. Ford Thunderbird. Um, Mercury Ford. Lynx. Um, Cougar. Oops. Ford's named after animals. Sorry, I had to reset Close, very close. I just can't think of non-Fords. Um, the the, the great one, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> that? Um, nice Fox body. <laughs> Boy, Craig, I don't believe nice it. Try. Okay, I got it. Cars with four wheels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Barracuda, cheetah, cobra. Cars Fox. named after animals. Uh, bingo, Bob. Cars named after uh, animals. Jim, do I push this lever forward to make a picture? No, don't do it. You'd never be able to stand the strain. Oh, uh, the, str yeah, oh, there we go. the strain. Sorry. Yeah. I am for retirement. <laughs> yeah, I see. He did it just as he has to give some more clues. So. All right. Next round. Maybe they'll be better this time. Do I get you, a point? You, or got what? A, you got a point that time, Craig. I don't, I'm not keeping track. I don't you know. You got a point? Goes. Jim, that's your job. I'm, I'm doing that. Next round. I already did that one. Okay, I want to pick that up. Pick another one. Bull row. Okay, got it. Here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Mm. I'm for retardment. <laughs> Time is skipping. Wait. Okay. Seizure mobile. Newport. What? Coronado. Cars named after Spanish explorers. Good guess. Malibu. Cars named after California. Cars named after American cities. Cars named after uh, towns. Biscayne. Cars named after coastal <clears throat> cities. That, that, that that's it. That's good enough. It says here, Beach or Seaside. What? Beach or Seaside. seaside. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. That, I got it. You got it. Well, got the it. point goes to Bob because he was asking the question, I, remember? I, I don't understand. How did I even get I I thought they were good. Daytona? Yeah. What, what do you think, Jim? Ventura? Yeah, I forgot about Ventura. All I right. put that one out of my mind because of Newman. Yeah. New Daytona? Newman. But not the Sebring. It's inland. Yeah. All right. But they, 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 wait, do you mean where the Nitona race was held? Yes, the Nitona oh, race. Okay. That's right. What round are we on, Jim? We're on round six. Craig. And it's my turn. It's your turn, Craig. I don't know anything <laughs> for this category. <laughs> what is. <laughs> Let me. 
How about if Jim gives it, and if I win or lose, I get the point? <laughs> um, no twin collusion here. No. You, you ready, well, Craig? I, I need to make Hang a, a retardment Jim. search. <laughs> yes, Jim. He has, to he has to do a retardment search. So. <laughs> yes, Jim, I, I, I I'm going to see what the category is if say. I can. Thank you. I can't. Oh, my God. He'll never get this. Uh, Generate another. You get a you, know, you get you know, one you know, pass. You know, I'm going to use You'll my mulligan again. Clues. Bob's Bob's right. taking, uh, mulligan, taking a pass. It's already engaged. Taking a pass, which is and good. And I got the same one again. Do I have click it one <laughs> more time? Got it. And we one. had that one already. Okay, this one is just as difficult. <laughs> you got to do it though. You, I know. I, I used my redo again. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. I'm retardmenting. <laughs> I'm retardmenating. Don't have a leisure stroke in the process. No, no, no. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, okay. I think I've got an idea. There's your minute. <laughs> Citroen DS. Wait. Maybe the, it was a concept. Um, Keep going. I'm. I'm <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't get points. Next round. <laughs> uh, uh. You know, I wish I wish it was here. It's upstairs in my luxurious quarters. My <laughs> me, my, to me, my, my very comfortable quarters near my machine that makes the diamonds. But um, I wish I had my scepter here to conk you. With. <laughs> you you're doing this is a great. Scepter. This is a great category too. I don't know anything. The, oh, maybe the Chevy Montana. The Buick slash Chevrolet sale? Um, vehicles, Chevy. American vehicles not sold in the United States. You must have seen the category? No, yes, that was it. No, I was guessing. <laughs> did you message him? No, I didn't message him. <laughs> this is Why would I he did? didn't he have did. to. We he have gave... the psycho link, remember? Yes. Yeah, so it's your point, Craig. I didn't deserve that. I know, but I'm not arguing. It was a concept. <laughs> Cars in production no longer sold in the U.S., no longer sold. Correct me if I was wrong. The Montana's never been sold here. Or not the Winman. Yeah, you, the your clues were awful because it's actually brands that weren't sold here. So, Bob, Daihatsu, uh, Peugeot, Citroën. Did um, I read that wrong? I guess I did. You know. <coughs> next round. Next round. I, embar I have for Stop. embarrassment. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Bob? Did you select a category? I select a man. category. Did you pull okay. the lever and cause round. yourself a tremendous brain burst? Round seven. Round seven. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to make a, an assumption here that uh, we're talking Coronet, Belvedere, Chrysler products, Fireflight, crappy Fire, Chrysler products, Fire Sweep, <laughs> Chrysler products one. from the 70s, Chrysler Not products hardly. from the 60s, Plymouths, Valiant. Plymouth, small, compact Plymouths. Um, a body Chryslers. Is that the right one? What? Polara. Crappy Chrysler, rusted out Chryslers. <laughs> Fire Dome. Chrysler names. Adventurer. DeSoto, Chrysler brands that are no longer around. Cars yes. of brands no longer around. Bob, why didn't you just say, for example, Plymouth, DeSoto, Maxwell. I mean, you know, they're all dead. It's Imperial. It was a brand. That's a good name, too. It's too easy. Too easy. All right. <laughs> they should resurrect it. Round eight, Craig. Oh, I got to do it again. I got that one, didn't I? You, he, did? you got it. You got it. He said it. He said Chrysler's that aren't built anymore. It was more fun torturing him that way. <laughs> <laughs> Another look of horror. Pass. You, you can't pass again. You got one pass. No, I, I mean pass the whole round. <laughs> <laughs> so do we give it to Bob then? Uh, let me see if I can get him to get together. Yeah, let's see if Jim, let me see the category. Jim, Wait, Jim, this is a test of the psycho link. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Trust me, it's not. I... I, I okay, don't let's, know. See if, let's see if Bob can get this one. Timer, Ben. Are you ready? Begin. Are you ready, Bob? I'm ready. A AMC Pacer. Chevrolet Citation, uh, Ford Ranger, Ford Corsair. Cars with names provided by Edsel. You got it. 
Wow. That's, that's the <laughs> I'm going to give it to you, Craig, because no. you let me read it for you. No, point for Bob. He's, he got it. Fair and square. Wow. No, I'm going to give you a point for Jim. I He's already kicking my ass. Might as well go all the way. Jim needed points from the previous, from the previous game. game. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can have that point then. <laughs> Round right. nine, Bob. Give it a go. I'm kicking now on the random Hothiori. No, that doesn't count. It's been done. Have you refreshed? Uh, I need refreshment. Do I refresh the page or just what? click it again? Just, just click, click it again. again. Just click. I've been doing that. What? Do, do you get freshment when you're feeling <coughs> fresh? Are you freshmented? Then you need okay. refreshment to get freshation. Re yes, freshation. All I'm right, ready. Bob. Are you ready? I think so. Continental. Mercury. Meteor. Lincoln Monarch. Mercury Division of Ford. What's that? Lincoln Mercury. Edsel. Deceased Ford brands. Very good. Bob gets it. Yeah, deceased Ford brands. Because I didn't. I was, was going to say Maxwell. Continental was a brand very briefly. Hmm. Yeah, for the Mark II only. Hmm. All right, we are on to round number ten. An old-fashioned, it's still anyone's game, except not mine. <laughs> An old-fashioned shellacking. This is a French polish, Bob. It takes many steps to apply. You, you know the reason the old car plants were multi-story is because they varnished the bodies with shellac, and it would take them forever to dry. Oh, to drive them around the building? No, they, they, they just bodies. They just had them in racks bodies. drying. Hmm. All right, random haltigory. Did that one already. He did that one already. I think we did that one already. <laughs> Read a minute. Computer more. It's... Yes, we've done that. That was the last one that you answered correctly, by the way. <laughs> uh, did we do that? Whoa, I, I think I Craig know. is having his Alzheimer moments. It's a leisure. It's an altsy stroke. <laughs> help, Mr. Wizard, help. All right, I think I've got this one now. The, the timer's counting, Craig. Oh, did he start it? Is that what that sound effect means? <laughs> yeah. Um, Morris and Austin? <laughs> Bob, wake Tarina. up! Tarina. Austin Healy. MG. Morris. Riley. Vanden Plaats. BMC nameplates? Craig, a point for you. You did a fabulous job. And I tip my hand to the Wikipedia. I was, I gotta tell you what I was gonna say. Nameplates formerly owned by BMW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Bob carries the day. Bob is the carrion. It's six points for Bob and three for Craig. Good Bob? show, Bob. Good show. Let me see if either of you get this, all right? Okay. Stern's Knight. I'm sorry, excuse me. Scripps Booth. Former groups, uh, divisions of General Motors. Damn. He's your twin. How yeah, I know, but I didn't expect it that fast. What I was going to yeah, say. I don't understand this. I have a small screen here, and I can see through Jim's left eye. <laughs> Wait, his act, I, you did I, the I, implant. It's good. The spy in your eye. It All is right. a spy in my well, eye. Well, rather than basking in my failure, I think we need to move on to we the do next need to round. Move on. The and, next and quickly the, and efficiently. The next, the last, and the final round to oh. be. To, to be um, we're going to settle this hall versus hall once exactly. and for all. Those fighting words. Well, Jim has taught me English, so I may work more efficiently in your country. Okay. Well, are you guys ready? It's I'm time ready. for a car I'm by ready. any other name. Okay, I'm ready. Ben, play the music. Dun, 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 dun. There's no music for in this In each game. round of this game, I will announce a fictional make and model. Each panelist will then take his or her turn describing, based only on said name, what kind of vehicle fits this moniker. We've done this with you guys a couple of times. It's always a blast. So if we call yes. a car the Langostini Clarifino, I might describe it as an Italian compact aimed at financially secure millennials intended to evoke the carefree joy of an afternoon at the beach. Sans Allen is support device. Vinicor. Yes. For extra points, I might Son mention that it's conceived. <laughs> What was that, Ben? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I might mention that it was conceived while Langostini's head of product development was luncheon at the Red Lobster. Anyway, in each round, the winner will be determined by the fickle hordes in the chat room, or in this case, Ben and I, as a dual diumvirate. Triumvirate two. Duumvirate. No, it's a, triumvirate it's a word. Two. Duumvirate it's, is no, a word. It's potential hanging can judges. It odd, is what oh, you're saying. yes. We have a quadumvirate with minus one with Eric. Yes. <laughs> so... I shall start. And Ben, supercomputer to pick who goes first. Huh? 
<laughs> Who's gonna go first when I put the current name in here? Uh, Jim. Okay. He didn't even properly mute his own mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim. All right, Jim. A minute on the clock, Ben. A full, a, a minute or thirty, whatever 30. you want to do. No, no, we'll do, we'll do a minute on the clock. I didn't even know we were timing this, but we'll, we'll do a minute on the clock All after, right, after you. No, 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 we, we'll do it. Gotta keep minute. It on, yes, that's true. Minute on the clock after you reveal the name. Car. Okay. The name of the car is the A Mill by the Washburn Minneapolis Company. The A Mill. The A-Mill, uh, it's the first automobile that was ever made with a f complete flax body. <laughs> and the, the problem with the car is that the company decided they wanted to get in the auto industry and the best way to do it was with what they knew best. And just as Ford built looms, these guys simply made cheap fabrics. So they did this and it was sort of strung over a combination of, of bamboo and steamed old spoons, wooden spoons for cooking. The car was uh, incredibly fuel efficient, but you didn't want to be in an accident one, and they made a fatal error when they had a standard cigarette lighter that was an Italian-type cigarette lighter where you pushed it down and put the cigarette in it, and most of the cars burned to the ground, horrific accidents, and uh, the company went into the salve business after that. Good show, Jim, with Woo. 20 seconds on the clock. Point of clarification, flax body, though? Yes, it was woven flax, uh, which is the basis of linen. So uh -huh. it always looked a little wrinkle, and that was one of the problems. Because could you they, steam it, though? You could, and it would stretch, but then that would start to collapse the wooden spoon frame. It was really unpleasant when people All did right. that. It was a car that you really would think of as a summer car. It was casual. Okay, <laughs> very nice. Now, Bob, are you ready with a salvo to fire back? Of course I am. Ben, a minute on the clock. Begin! As usual, Jim was right in some respects, but wrong in all others. <laughs> the car was actually developed by a German immigrant, uh, somebody from East Germany, who was a former engineer at Trabant, who escaped by digging under the wall and using his Trabant as the, uh, the special device to drive through the uh, tunnel. His name was Emil Washburn, and uh, he came out with this car. It was basically a license built. He copied the Trabant and uh, built it at a small garage in the west end of Minneapolis. Only he was using Briggs & Stratton engines in it, and uh, he was close. There was flax in the body because it had the lycoplast body, but when people realized how dangerous it was, and it was a Trabant, uh, he changed the name from, he was going to name it after himself, the Emil, and he changed it to the Emil because he was afraid people would come and uh, burn his house down or at least TP it. <laughs> With 20 seconds, 15 seconds to spare, Bob, you are so done. Ben, any points of clarification? Not for me. I, I think that's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. So, quad umvirate minus one. Okay. Who wins? Who wins? I vote Jim because flax seed and spoons and linen. Vote for Jim. Do I get to vote? Yes. No. I, vote for no. Jim. I, vote for, I vote for Jim, too. <laughs> ben? I vote for Bob. I gotta break the tie. You gotta break the tie, Eric. It isn't easy. Black seed and linen. Black seed and linen. I'll go Bob. Bob. Bob carries the day full term. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Eric. Uh, that remuneration we spoke of earlier, I'll get to you. <laughs> 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 now, if you don't Jim, know... Jim knows how well the Antiguan banks work, so... <laughs> Craig, bonus points, right? Sure. You get, they get 10,000 bonus points if they guess what you're about yes. to reveal, right? No, I'm not going to reveal it right yet. Okay, but... Vehicle number two. Bob, oh. you start. <clears throat> so we're going to revisit these rounds? What are you talking about? What their name? No, these no, are themed, that's a surprise are they not? for the end. Just hold your. I've got oh, okay, plans, I thought ben. there were bonus points on each round. Oh, okay. Ben, oh, you know what? Bob, Bob, Ben has spoiled... The surprise. The surprise. <laughs> There's yes. no surprise. What surprise would that be, Jim? The surprise that he had. He's spoiled it now. No, he's spoiled it. Is it a giant platinum fowl? A big giant chicken, yeah. The I'll second try. vehicle, Bob, you begin, is the Sultana by Big River Motors. Mm. This is an Australian car. Because the Aussies love the Sultanas. And it's built on a factory in the Murray River in... Um, the far northern portion. Well, actually, it'd be the northwestern portion of South Australia. And... Um, it's called the Sultana because it's made out of an organic material. It's a bunch of greens that did it, and uh, the factory doesn't have a roof. So as the cars sit out there, they all kind of turn into like raisins because that's all a Sultana is. And the styling has this special uh, rinkoplast body, which is unique in all the world. And like all Australians have, it's a small car. It's about the size of a, uh, a VW Golf, and it has a 6-liter V8 engine. Very good. 27 seconds on the clock. Jim, your response. He's... He's crossed the border into Poland. What is your response? Oh, no. My car, the, the Sultana. Give me the clock, Ben. Yes, give me the clock, Ben. Jim, Jim you have to say like, the real Sultana. The, the, not the, my real, car. the real Sultana is actually a car that is made for the transplanted labor 
predominantly in the United Arab Emirates, the guys that are building the cities there. And they wanted to give them a car that made them think that they would have a car as good as the, the McLaren M12s and the F1s and the Bugattis that are plying the streets. So it's based off of actually recovered Pontiac Fieros. And it has a body that makes them look like a last generation Mercury Cougar. Now, the thing is, to the people that are the transplants that are building there, it's good because the Sultana name infers that they are, the Sultan are like the Emir, you know, so this is a big deal. And it's simply being sold on the strength of its name and the fact that no one remembers what the last generation Cougar looked like. Point of clarification? Yes? Are there any Fieros left that haven't been turned into Ferrari bodies? They're buying some of the Ferraris. Okay. Now, and the thing stripping is, them back the company is run by stupid people, and some of them are paying Ferrari are money retardment? for those cars. They are retardment. And, 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 and some of them are paying... Few, paying I read about... I, I read about this, a few of them have bought Ferrari 308s by accident. Yes, and then they try to put the body exactly. on, and it doesn't and, and work. They, and the problem is they take them in for service. They go, what the hell's this? Okay. Bob, point of clarification, Bob. What were your arguments again? Very quickly. <laughs> My arguments? Yes. The, the car body was uh, wrinkled like a razor. I don't like Jim's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're tacky. And I those the weirdest shoes you ever saw in your life. No I problem. got them in Sorrel, Bob. That's a crummy town. <laughs> anyway, who... Point of clarification. Yes. Does Big River Motors build excitement, Jim? No. Oh, God, no. No. No, because they're, they're green cars, but they build clean, clean and wrinkled. Green. Okay. Just... But that's my car. Right. <laughs> that's why Shall... I answered for you, Bob. We have the psychic link. Shall we oh. vote, Jen? Bob, Thing. sleep. <laughs> Awake and refreshed. He's stroking out. Boy, I feel great. <laughs> I'm going to go out and run a mile now, you know? Ben, your vote, please. Cast uh, it. Oh, boy. Um, I'm voting for Bob. The wrinkled, the wrinkledness is, I don't know, it's just too, too visually arresting for me. My first I, car I was it. wrinkled. It had, a, it had a linen body, okay? <laughs> oh. Eric. I will go for Jim. Eric votes for Jim. I'm the tiebreaker. I vote for Jim as well because I liked his Fiero fiasco. Oh, anything to recover Fieros and keep them on the road, you know? Uh, the, only, <laughs> the only thing that, that sold it to you was the fact that I pointed out that they accidentally were buying 308s. Okay. I, I don't know what that And means. it was a brilliant contribution we made, Bob, and I truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. All right, gentlemen. Next up, round three, we have a Chinese car, and it is called the Ban Kiao by Great Leap Forward LLC. Jim, is it your turn to go first? Yes, it is his turn to go first. Begin. The Bank Out car, it's interesting because the heritage of the car is as important as the car itself. It is one of the cars, you know, Harley Earl at General Motors was the guy that set the design theme. This was designed personally by General So. And, <laughs> when he wasn't in the kitchen, right? That's right. And, and as a result, it is completely unique and unlike anything you've seen unless you've seen a car before. And every one is a little bit different because just like General Tso's chicken, as you go to different places, they're always a little bit different. And this is really because the quality control is so awful. They use a 100% limbless uh, assembly labor crew. And they're conscripted <laughs> from the military from uh, a horrible basically reloading accidents where they're reloading those big guns and stuff. Mm. Uh, but it keeps people employed, and it's a car that the, the Chinese people themselves avoid like, well, SARS. And with 15 seconds to spare. Ben, any points of clarification? I do actually have a point yes. of clarification. Does Begin. it come in trim levels mild, medium, and hot? Well, the hottest version is actually called the Spy C, S P I hyphen C. <laughs> so yeah, they have that. But other than that, they're all pretty mild. It's a tepid car, except for the Spy C, which is pretty neat. All right, I, I'm. I'm I am intrigued. <laughs> there is a theme to all of my choices, by the way, but I'm not going to reveal it. Bob, minute I might on the clock spoil for it. you, please. Don't be ruminating, Jim. I can't help but think. Thinking is all that matters. Begin. The Bankau uh, is made by Great Leap Forward, and Jim had some of it right, of course, as usual, and then got most of it wrong, because uh, it's, there is a government connection. It's built in uh, Education and Labor Camp number 63, okay? And Bankau means happy golden family in a uh, unknown dialect of China. Uh, the price of the car is uh, also, it's one price. There's no haggling. It's 8,888, uh, whatever the hell they use for currency there, Juan or whatever. And <laughs> Mr. It's, Juan. It's, 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 it's loved and adored by all Chinese who still don't buy it because they want to buy a BMW or Mercedes. But um, they've started exporting it to 6th uh, and 7th world countries uh, to mixed results. There are six world countries. <laughs> Point of clarification, what are six world countries? Name a couple examples, please. Six and seven. Well, I would say uh, Valeria, okay? Uh, 
uh, San Corpo, probably. Santa, Santa Costa, okay. Lombolanda. Lesotho, uh, Bolas. No, Galena. Bolas, Bolas, yeah, absolutely. Ga huh? Gal Galena. Gale Galea. Galea, yeah. I mean, they, right. they have the money, the Galean money, yeah. It's, uh, All right. Uh, Arguments period is closed. Eric, you have the point, first vote. Point, well, I have oh, a point, point, of point of clarification. Go ahead. Make it quick. Um, will your family truly be happy if you own this car? Or just golden? Or just if golden. they aren't, if they aren't, they're sent to join the uh, assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be limbless. <laughs> no, no, no. That's 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 in the other that's one. In that, my they, point. Everybody, they all have their limbs. They just don't have the right political thinking. Uh, well, they have I mean, to be re-educated. It's it's just it's just value labor. They're not criminals. They're not. They're not. They're not. They can escape. They can value anytime labor, they want. Right. Just ask. Just ask anybody at Foxconn, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, why don't you cast the first vote for us? Oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention. They built it in an underground factory so no one can jump off the roof, okay? Oh. Disregard that. That's a That was outside his timer. Eric. Oh, no, I've cheated. <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. Vote away. Well, I, my, my vote will be biased because He's... when I when I eat at Chinese restaurants, I typically order the general chicken, so... <laughs> That was... I have to go with Jim. Yeah. All right, Ben. Although I do think Bob has the production facilities spot on. So Eric votes for Jim. Ben, who do you cast your vote for? I'm afraid I also have to vote for Jim because I cannot resist spicy and sweet. <laughs> I was going to vote for Jim because the chicken varieties are just too new. Just too. Jim carries it. Jim so carries. Jim this Carey. was obviously named after some takeout outfit I've never heard of on this side of the country, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's a general Tso. Tsao. All right, round four. Bob, you, sir, go first. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready as I'll never be. This is the Piper Alpha by the North Sea Corporation. The Piper Alpha. <laughs> the Piper Alpha is a, it's, it's, it's a very stable car, okay? Because it has, uh, the old, Jimmy knows this very well, the first generation Camaro to balance the body when they cut the convertible top off had uh, concrete weights in the corners as to serve as dynamic balancers. This actually has concrete foundations built into it. And the, uh, the gear lever can be made into a drill. So you can actually go searching for your own oil, okay? In the trunk, they have an option. It's a $46 million option. It's a, a small, very compact refinery. So you can suck the oil up refine it, and then burn the fuel there. Just like those cars during World War II they had in Sweden that burned the, uh, wood. the wood to run off the gas. Yeah, um, And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just a delightful car. It also, the roof can be converted into a helicopter landing pad. So they all have an H on them painted on. <laughs> Any color you want as long as you have a yellow H on the roof. <laughs> That's brilliant. Bob, uh, I don't have any further points of clarification. Ben, I don't know about you. None for me. None for me. Okay. Jim, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's have a minute on the clock, please. And you may the Piper, begin. The, the Piper Alpha is related to an old car called the Powell. And the Powell was a car built in Southern California <laughs> where they would, take, they would take 1950 Plymouths, chassis, and build a new sheet metal body that looked like it was done in a high school on just a metal break. Well, this is the same idea, but they're using repurposed Piper Cherokee fuselages. And to make sure that no one's injured in them, they have four-cylinder Alfa Romeo engines. And as a result, they will not run. They're perfectly safe because they won't fly like a plane, but they're really, really stylish. And Point all, of clarification. All aluminum. Yes. What is a fuselage? Is it a pink plane body? Fuchsia. <laughs> no, that would be a, a fusi, fuchsia. Fuchsia. Fuselage. Yeah. You said fuselage. I wanted to make sure. Okay. At least says that on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. After you sing a duet. Yes. Have some tuna fish. Anyway, I guess it's my turn to vote first. This I'm going with Bob this round. I like the refine the portable refinery. That's very clever. That's yeah. very clever, Bob. Very I'd clever. be voting for Jim. I like his, but that's okay. All right, Ben. I vote for Bob because I like helipads. <laughs> and Eric, your vote doesn't matter, but at this point. I would vote for Jim simply because Bob kind of, as soon as he started explaining it, Bob laughed and fell out of his chair. Mm -hmm. so that was, that was he seized. He literally ruffled, so I think that's he did ruffle. Yeah, And we didn't see yeah. it, though. And Jim forgot to mention, though, that one of the Powells, the pickup truck, had these two compartments that had, like, screw, like, screw caps, and you pull it off, and you could put fishing poles in it, Yeah, running the length of the, the, length the bed of the, of the pickup truck. It was monstrously right. stupid. Brilliant. Anyway, this is the fifth and final round, the <laughs> tiebreaker, and this is where I give my theme away, because, okay. Jim, you're up first. The car is the Quicksilver by Minamata Motors. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
The Quicksilver is interesting because it's a car where they decided, with all this new technology, paint technology, these guys new, tried it a long time ago. New? New technology, paint. Uh, and what they did, they wanted something that no other car company could duplicate. And when you're a kid, you would always put a penny into Quicksilver, which is, of course, Mercury. The cars were basically automobiles of questionable quality that were coated in liquid mercury for a while. They were beautiful, but invariably children would get Itai disease from them, uh, where you, you, they, you'd, you'd be painful. The car was taken off the government, or taken off by the government. By, uh, I, this, I'm not having any luck with this one. <laughs> Bob, I, I almost will yield this one to you. I, unless yours is worse than mine, in which case I will fight you to the death. Some trash talk. Point of clarification, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The invitation to the, the finger lock camera. Hi, man. <laughs> it's if me. You're if you're only listening to the audio version, you can't see what Ben is doing. He'll chime in at random intervals and just return to the camera waving. <laughs> Go watch the video now. Point I'm, I'm here in the production bunker, and I had a question for Jim. Yes. Uh, did this car ever use the Silver Surfer as its mascot? The hood ornament, but it was an extra cost hood ornament. The standard hood ornament was like the Detroit fist, but all in silver. Ooh. And very disconcerting when you saw it in the rearview mirror heading toward you. Thank you. Because the cars had no functional brakes. <laughs> Talk about disconcerting Ben staring into the camera. <laughs> all right. Bob, are you ready? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Minute on the clock, Ben. Your time starts now. Uh, this is a company, this is a brand new car. They just got started. You know, this isn't something that's happened. It's, it's as we speak, it's coming. They bought all the tooling for Mercury's. <laughs> and they're, Bob wins. They're gonna build it Bob wins. That's, that's very clever. And, and to avoid copyright infringement, right, with Ford. Yeah, exactly. Because they, they bought the tools. Ford said, Ford said, yeah, you can have all this Mercury tooling. We, don't, we haven't gotten any use for it. It's useless. And uh, just, you can't use a name. It's like, oh, no problem. <laughs> we can't make a name. <laughs> <laughs> Bob carries the day. I, that's clever. That's, that was good, that's Bob. That's brilliant. You, you don't go there, Bob. Bob, raise yep. your, I'm going to raise your arm in the air. You win. You're the grand champion of this round. A winner, Ouch. Bob, a winner is you. <laughs> now, did, did you get my theme for these rounds? Is it time for bonus points, Craig? Yes. I'm not going to get any bonus points off this because I've got three different ideas and I'm not what going to, I'm idea? not going to, I'm, no, I will not embarrass myself by you saying even one of them. Bob, do you care to guess? Can you see the theme in this one, Bob? Yes, I think I do. And I, I, I second the motion with Jim. I'm not sure I want to go there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, particularly, particularly when you say I've already embarrassed myself and, you know, so much, you know, I, I will tell you then these are all prominent disasters. The A mill was a, a flour mill explosion in 1878. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Sultana was a steamship boiler explosion, 1865. <laughs> the Banqiao was a dam break in China in 1975. The Piper Alpha. Oh, wait, hold was on. That was not, it was not noticed until uh, about uh, 1984, I think. Or at least reported. <laughs> 1994, <laughs> Bob. Reported. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Piper Alpha was a North Sea oil platform explosion in Quicksilver by Minamata Bay. Yeah. I left off the Bhopal. By the UC LLC company. Yeah, that, <laughs> it's still a little too soon for that one, you yes. know. So that was that. Good show, gentlemen. Who wins? Who I wins? What's ben, the final tally? Yeah, what is the final score? Ben, you've got to tabulate them. Don't you have the... the I haven't been tabulating. How, okay, Bob won the third round. Bob I won, win! Bob won the previous round, although Jim was not participating. So I don't know how that Bob weighs in. rounds one, three, and five, then. Jim tied me, and he did the fecal car. So I think <laughs> Bob won car. this Hall versus Hall. Bob, enjoy your victory while you can. Until next time, Bobbo. We will have a rematch. As I, as, I recall, as I recall, the last time we did this, Jim won. He did. So the universe is in balance. It's like the creative flow. It you know? is. There's only one time, but next time I will win. In As fact, there Bob. is a winner, there is also a loser, and Jim just fell on the spikes. Oh. Hold on. Hang on. Jim, look at this way. Jim's in second place, okay? Uh -huh. First loser. Well, very good. Yeah, you guys can too. save yeah. the smack talk. I got to round out the show here. Uh, remember, you can watch Roundabout Live every Friday evening, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 3.30 on the West Coast. And don't forget the rest of the Autoline family of fine programs. Quick question. Including, will, yes. will, will, they, will they be fixing the chat room? I know it wasn't working today. Uh, we're we're going to work on that. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Bob. I, I know, like, we couldn't see anything that people were putting in there. I'm sorry if you were 
typing things in the whole time. But because I, I had my chat room open and I didn't, you know, I, I couldn't even see myself in there. Yeah, I'm so not so sure. I think that's a MIBIT issue, but we'll we'll figure that out. Thanks. Sorry Bob. about that. Yeah. Okay. So again, don't forget to check out the rest of the AutoLine family of fine programs, including AutoLine Daily, AutoLine After Hours, and AutoLine This Week, or every week rather. You can subscribe to Roundabout on a number of different i uh, of, of different podcast snatching services. You can use iTunes, Stitcher, perhaps Stitcher even iTunes or Stitcher, are the big ones. Stitcher is a great little app, but you can stream them live to your smartphone, smart equipped telephone. It's a great service. And with that, we thank all of you out there for listening, and we do hope you join us again next week as we circle the gyro tree. Buzz that. Sh- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute, would you? Oh, he's drinking something. I just need a little sodium. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's right. The element that's, sodium? Yeah, Bob, that's Bob's pick-me-up. It's just to eat table salt. My pressure salt. was a bit low. I, the recorder's not running up to speed. Is the air okay? The air is growing toxic. Oh, Bob, I think it's time for you to you know what. Sign off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bob. Cheers to you.